In the previous video we have talked about the state notifier provider. This time inshallah we are going to see another method that is really important to know about. We have seen two methods ref.watch and ref.read. Uh, first of all we are going to use the same example of the previous videos so you may want to start from the example of the previous video. The method that we want to take a look at is called listen. Let me first of all write it ref that listen. You basically, as you use watch or as you use uh, read, you basically uh, call the ref uh, object, and here you, you have access to this listen method. And basically, listen it listens for any change that happens in your provider on the state on your provider, and when this change happens it will execute a function, a callback function. And yeah, it is really simple. It is absolutely important to note that you should never call ref.listen inside, the, as explained in the documentation asynchronously. Uh, for example, inside uh, on pressed, you should never call listen here inside. Or another place that should not call it is inside, for example, the state's life cycles, like in its state. In this case, we don't have a, a stateful widget. This is a stateless widget, as a consumer widget, but you should use it instead of the stateless widget to get your ref. Uh, when you have a consumer stateful widget, you inside your init state, you should never call ref.listen or other state life cycle. So here we have our ref.listen. For example, we can call it inside the build and don't worry even if it is inside a build and you are using a consumer stateful widget it will get called only the first time so your function will not execute every time so you shouldn't worry about this it is important to note that you can call it inside the build another place that you can call it it inside other providers for example if i have here state notifier provider i can uh, do something like this Here I return and maybe I can call it here and do some stuff that I, I may need. I don't know what. Okay, so yeah, so basically you have ref.listen and as the first argument, as I have explained, are two positional arguments. The first one is your provider, for example, my provider. You shouldn't pass the state or the controller. You have to call directly your provider. As a second argument, you should pass a callback function with two values. And for example, in our case, as you see here in this example, we have a list of strings. And basically, so the first argument is, uh, is the previous state and the next argument is the new state. And inside these uh, two states, we will have it will return to us a list with the previous state and the next state. So we can define list of brief state or list of new state. So here now it gives a problem because uh, it tries to understand the type. It sees that we have a function of type object object. It doesn't really understand the type that it we will return because we haven't defined it here on the state notifier provider. We have not defined the return type, and uh, we also haven't defined the return type after the listen method. For example, if we delete the type, you will see that it will give error here because uh, you shouldn't worry first of all if you see this error it is only that it does not understand which type it is because you should define the type that will return you can for example type dynamic and you will unquote uh, solve the problem but this is not the solution that you should use because you always should define the return type and here on the site not notifier provider we can do this by defining uh, here that we have a notifier and that we return a list. And obviously here now we can uh, say that we will have 
uh, at least and uh, here you should define the return type of your provider because at the end your provider contains a list this is uh, what i have ex explained before so at the end uh, on your site it, it contains a list of of strings so it is a list of strings and here now we can uh, simply type list this so even after doing this we will not solve the problem because in the first argument it not only wants a list but it sometimes can contain a null value for example uh, on the first state so uh, you should insert a list with the question mark for the uh, nullable thing because if uh, here contains null you know it and it will not always contain a list so finally after all this talk we have defined the things that should go into the list and so i'm sorry but i try to let people of all backgrounds understand the concept totally so by uh, trying to explain everything because sometimes some people there are people that have uh, no real background in computer science other that have and things like that so yeah let's continue and here inside our uh, the body for our function we can basically this is the function the callback function callback because you pass this function and every time that uh, the provider changes uh, this listen method will call this function here this is why it is called a callback function now you can do anything that you want uh, this function have been called let's save okay so now you see that if we press the plus button here the string changes and as you can see here this function uh, the, this function have been called and if we tap again we see the second time the third time etc and if we stop right here and we press again uh, we can see uh, the values that we have uh, in our inside our um, callback function and as i said before we have our previous state that contains only four values but here inside the new state we have uh, five values that contains a new value the number 83 and as you can see here uh, it doesn't show the number 83 because it is called uh, before it uh, get, uh, it renders everything but as you can see now here in the new state you have the new uh, the new value so uh, you have the previous state and the new state because sometimes you may need them in order to do uh, some things it, it depends on a lot of the uh, on the cases but you may need the previous state you may need to compare it with the new state etc etc you may not want really to do to show something because the previous state it is uh, it is similar to the new state i don't know you you have a lot of cases yes i think that i have said everything um it is also important to note that uh, for example in the documentation it says that a real world example is uh, when you have um you want to show a snack bar so you listen to changes then you show a snack bar as you can see here uh, we have that for example you show a snack bar when an error happens or you have a lot more cases i have seen the real example applied in another website of uh, another youtuber so let me go and check and here it is the example uh, the website is called with andrea it is basically the same implementation ref that listen with a counter state provider and you have the previous state and the current state at the end it shows the snack bar with the new value if we press uh, the continue we could see that things have changed and our print is shown here so this is how it works ref that listen i think that i have said everything as i have said uh, previously you shouldn't worry if you have ref that listen 
here inside the build. Obviously, this applies more with you have the consumer stateful widget because ref.listen will get called only when something changes inside the provider. If you restart your application, you could see that at the beginning, this function will not get called. And here we have our breakpoint. It will not get called at the beginning, but only when something changes in your provider. So if I try, for example, to change something, it will call it right now.